I'm Mimi Webb and I'm this month's Deezer Focus Artist. Walking home and talking loads. So I was born in Gravesend in Kent and then when I was eight years old we moved up to Canterbury and that's where I attended Kent College, Canterbury and there was always like music and like musical theatre I was doing there, acting, singing. And then from there I just, when I was 16, finished my GCSEs, I just really wanted to go into music properly, I wanted to be an artist, I wanted to be superstars and I was like right come on mum like you need to let me go to music college. From there just kind of being around music 24-7 and people that also want the same thing so it's really inspiring. But yeah I kind of think I just kind of found my own like loving music just from like I, meeting loads of people and kind of growing up, I just kind of formed my own love of my own certain genre of music. And I'll be me. And I'll be me. I think when I was like 17, and I, my manager was like, right, we're going to go to LA and we're going to go meet some record labels. I think that was when I was like, right, I just need to. Smash it. <laughs> From throwing clothes across the floor. The Ellen show was incredible and getting my billboard in Times Square. Like it's all just happened like in the first half of the year, so it was just all so crazy and I just kind of took it every day as it came and just super grateful and just really excited for like the next thing I guess. Doing it anymore. So with my track 24-5, it was very much taken from a story of kind of just feeling like the person that you're with is one way in the week and another on the weekends. So it's just about that kind of toxic love, but you know, you're also, you also still want them and like you just keep going in this circle and you know, it's just a non-stop. Why don't you be oh, and I'll be me? The process um, of making my EP has, it's been really fun to be honest. I've just been writing every day for weeks or months, months end. And I was just writing about like my everyday life and then it just all came together and it all came together as a real story. And then when I heard that, you know, we, we wanted to put an EP out, it was just, it was like I'd already been working towards that without knowing it. And I'll be me. And I'll be me. And I'll be me